Welcome to Punk Rock Radar. This one goes out to all the magicians today because Don Camaro has lost his mind. So sit back and hold tight as we do gutter mouth. All right, guys, today we have gutter mouth and we have 10 albums to do. So we're going to need two in every tier, including the D tier. D tier does not mean it sucks. It just means it's not one of our favorites. And I've been listening to gutter mouth now for close to 25 years. So this was really <laughs> tough. They're one of my all time favorite bands. But one thing I will say is yikes. Some of these lyrics have not aged well, but we probably won't be touching too much on that. Matt, how are you doing right now? I'm doing good. Um, same here, John. I've probably been listening to Guttermouth maybe a little less than you. Maybe I would say maybe 17 years or so. But uh, they are up there with one of my favorite bands as well. Um, I love Guttermouth because they just don't care. Mark doesn't care. And uh, you know, I feel like he's the last punk rocker alive right now. If he's still alive. Has anybody seen or heard <laughs> from Mark Adkins? <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. All right. But let... Let's kick this off right now with the full-length LP, the album formerly known as the full-length LP, whatever you want to call it. I'm pulling this one mm -hmm. up here. And Matt, believe it or not, this is actually the first one I got. And not because it was the only one out, not because I'm so old school, but because when I was a teenager, I would go to the record store and I would look for the one with the most songs and this was it. That's actually how I found out incidentally what a live album was from getting the album with the most songs so we're talking like maybe 98 99 on this one i got it and mr barbecue was always one of my favorite oh, tracks it yeah and some of these songs like i'm not even sure if they're good or if they're just funny but either way like even now like 20 plus years later i still come back i listen to this for a laugh or if i want to hear one, two, three, slam or reggae, man, I think is hilarious too. So I think yeah. Matt, you and I both talked about it. We, we kind of are just going to wing this episode. We don't have a lot planned. I, I am probably going to use my mulligan for the first time, but I feel pretty good about dropping this one in the beats here. What about you? Well, John, I'm going to be with you on that one. It's definitely a good B tier album. Um, I feel like later on they got better. Um, but yeah, this one has classic songs on it. Like Mr. Barbecue, I think I used to sing this during class in school just to piss people off. Um, but yeah, yeah, Mr. Barbecue, classic song. I'm putting this one as B as well. All right, so we're starting off on the same page. And how mm -hmm. could you not be? This album is awesome. If it was any lower than B, I would definitely have to question yeah. Uh, yeah. what you're doing over there. But Matt, if you want to take us into number two, Friendly People. All right, so Friendly People... I don't know. Everyone may not agree with me on this one, but this is my favorite gutter mouth album. And I'm putting this one in S. Friendly People is an S tier album for me. I mean, N on nine, Derek, Jamie's Pet and Zoo, bullshit. I know it's only a 35 second song, but come on. You know, the PC song, Disneyland. We're going to Asshole, Asshole, classic song by Gutter Mouth. This is S tier. This is vintage gutter mouth to me. This is what I fell in love with. Wow, I I'm not sure what to do now. Like, I I, mean, I, I had this nowhere near S. So I'll I'll be honest. Like, yeah, I mean, end yeah. on nine and asshole are two like of my favorite guttermouth tracks. I mean, I think it's a solid punk record. Uh the problem here is that with only ten albums, forty percent are gonna be in C or D. <laughs> that that's just man. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm gonna. I'm going B here. You go. Okay. Okay. I, I, go on B. I'm winging it. Like, I was thinking B or C for this one, but you kind of talked me into it. Like, I feel like "Asshole" was one of the first songs I heard from them too. I remember that was like pretty yeah. popular. Yeah. Back in that the day. Was, was was "Asshole" on Tony Hawk? Maybe. I I don't know. I don't know if they'd have "Asshole" on Tony Hawk. Oh no! It was "Perfect Perfect World." I think might have been on Tony Hawk then, but that's on a later album. But yeah. 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 Anyway, this was this was my favorite one. I feel like this is to me vintage gutter mouth, um, that gutter mouth sound. I, don't, I just I just love this album, nostalgia, I guess. Yeah, I'm yeah. with you, man. And mm -hmm. I feel like we should clarify one thing since we didn't do our ratings in advance. The full enchilada. Are we doing just the live or just uh, just no, the new no, tracks? New tracks. New tracks. New tracks only. only so the live. Yeah. Okay. 
That's going to yeah. make this one easier. Okay. <laughs> so with that out of the way, up next we have Terry Yakimoto. Mm. And I feel like th this is one, like I love trinket trading. Uh, whiskey, of course. The title track is good. Yeah. I, I actually think this was like one of the last ones I got. Like maybe in, oh, I think I even had Gusto before this one. I don't know why it took me so long to get it. A little more poppy than friendly people. Like you can kind of see the direction they were going. Overall, I don't find myself coming back to this one too much. So mm -hmm. I think personally, I'm going to put it in the C tier. Y yeah, the C tier. You know what? I was going to have this one in the D tier. I was going to put it in the D tier, but I think you kind of talked me into it. I mean, just, you know, a day at the office, Terakimoto. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this one in C. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one in C with you. This, I, I agree with you there. It's a tough one, right? I, like I feel like there's some good songs, but there's like I feel like a lot of the other ones have like that really memorable song. Yeah, and, I mean whiskey is something they play, but like oh, there's not like that signature gutter mouth track really on here. I feel like that's what's missing. Yeah, like you said, like I feel like every gutter mouth album has that one like signature or like that one song that you can listen to over and over again and this one doesn't have it i feel like i think you're spot on with that <laughs> all right well let's see what we got next here and i think i think that's not going to be a problem with the next one matt because uh wow. musical monkey there's like such a huge jump in the songwriting production just overall mm -hmm. quality like there's only one year between teriyaki moto and a musical monkey and like this one just absolutely blows it out of the water like this one has so many signature songs like it's hard to even yeah. pick your favorite on here uh, my favorite is lipstick i i do like lipstick too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lipstick is such a good song um so you know what I i'm really torn between see i threw friendly people into s which leaves me with two other albums that could be an s in my mind mm -hmm. And it's like Musical Monkey and another one. We're almost to that other one. Um, I'm going to put Musical Monkey in S tier. I'm going to put this one in S. Um, yeah, like you said, the quality got so much better on this. Uh, tons of classic songs on here. Um, another vintage gutter mouth kind of sound in album, I feel like. I feel like it's similar to Friendly People. Maybe the quality is better, you know, um, mm -hmm. in Musical Monkey. But the style, I, I feel like, and, and the lyrics and stuff. I'm with you, man. This is S for me yeah. also. Um, perfect world. What's the big deal? Baker's dozen. There's just there's just too many good mm -hmm. songs on here. This this has to be an S tier. For me, this is a no brainer. I, I honestly think this is probably my favorite Guttermouth record. Um with it all with all said and done. So this this was the first one I was thinking when I was doing my S tier. It's just easily every song on here is good. There like it doesn't have that weird song that they like to throw in at the end, really. Like a lot of the other ones. So, yeah. I mean, front to back, Musical Monkey for me is the number one gutter mouth record. Is that your favorite gutter mouth record too? Yeah, that's yeah. my number one. I, I was going back and forth with three, and listening to these like a dozen or so times the last couple of weeks. Musical Monkey is the one I kept wanting to listen to again. So, for that reason, it, that's my number one. That is the S tier. Gotcha. And this next one, Matt, this is probably the one I struggled with the most. You know what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, go on. I, I wanted to get your opinion first on this one because I haven't decided where I'm putting it yet. <laughs> I haven't decided where I put this one. And I feel like the first time I heard this album, you know, the first song, Hit Machine, I'm like, this is going to be a great album. That first song is just yeah. great on this album. Um, but then you kind of get down the list I don't know. For this one, I'm I'm probably gonna have to put this one. Hmm. I'm gonna put this one in C. C. Wow. I'm, I'm putting this one in C. I'm putting this one in C. I, I felt like I don't know. I couldn't get into this one when I was listening to it again, like for those past two weeks. Um, this is one I I constantly just skipped over. I mean, I would play the first song and be like, "Oh, this album's gonna be good. It's gonna be ripping," and I just couldn't get into it. Yikes. I mean, I won't deny that Hit Machine is the best song on here. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. But for me, this is kind of Musical Monkey Part Two, and the sequel's never as good as the original, right? And mm -hmm. I kind of think that holds true. Ah, uh, God. I mean, these two, like right before they moved to Epitaph, I, I, I don't know. I'm mad. I'm deciding between A and S for this one. I'll, I'll be honest with you. So I, I, I think Encyclopedia Brown is good. I think. Con Especial is good. I I even like Diamond Slutted Bumblebee, even though Bumblebee. it's a little weird. I mean, this one's just really aggressive. Like it doesn't let up at all until you get to power up, and then power up is hilarious. So you don't even care that it, you, it that it let up. Like I, I, I think I think yeah okay. Uh, there's uh, I'm going A. I'll go A. You, you can't put that one in S. You can't yeah. put that one in S, I feel like. Uh, you know, can you can can I use a mulligan? You're one mulligan. Yeah, move it up to B. You can move it up to B. You convinced me with, with like, you know, um, yeah, the, the song's your name. It, yeah, it's so it. it's really good, man. I know it's not yeah, it it's not as good as Musical Monkey, but this one mm -hmm. is really good. Like it's so hard when you base it off of like Musical Monkey and then this one comes out and then like you're kind of let down, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like that's how I was looking at it because I was listening to everything in order. I wasn't really skipping around when I was listening to them. And I felt like after Musical Monkey, I was just like, eh, it's not really doing it. But the next one is. Okay, so take us in the cover with ants, Matt. Cover with ants. This is a... So this is the one I struggled the most with, with my S tiers. It was either, you know, Friendly People, Musical Monkey, or Cover With Ants. And I feel like Cover With Ants is not quite there. In S, I'm going to put this one in an A tier. All right. That's, see, I'm with you. I was deciding between A and S for this one, too. Mm -hmm. I, I can't decide if I like Gorgeous or this one. I was actually leaning Gorgeous. But then when you put it in C, I was like, well, maybe... I'm missing something, but I will say this. Like I did the same as you. I was kind of I started at uh album formerly known, and I would just listen in order. And when I got to this one, it kind of felt like it's like what a drastic slowdown in speed. Like I, I mm. checked on my uh media player that I was playing at full speed because some of the songs they feel <laughs> really slow, like even like that's life and she's got the look mm -hmm. like they seem slower now I, I don't know what it is but yeah yeah it is a slower album i would say i see what you're saying but, um but man that's life can i borrow some ambition she's got the look i'm destroying the world black enforcers black enforcers chug -a -lug. Well, yeah cram it up your ass <laughs> the only other thing working against it is the is it's only what i mean was the intro uh, that's life. I, I was. I don't like the intro on this. You don't like that's I, life. That's one of my favorites on here. It, it well, it reminds me a lot of Zebrahead. I don't that hear song. That. I don't no, hear you, that. No. Yeah, you know, what was that one big Zebrahead song? I kind of feel like the the how it sounds, but I feel like they could have had a different song for the intro that would have been better. Like, can I borrow some ambition? Mm -hmm. Like to lead into this album, I thought would have been good. Yeah, I, I'm actually now that we've talked about it, I am gonna for the first time I'm going to use my mulligan. I am putting gorgeous at the what? top, what? And, and I'm putting covered with ants as a. I just wow. I'm I'm looking at the songs, and the, some of my favorite Guttermouth songs are on here, but there's not as many good songs as gorgeous and i have to subtract for such a drastic slowdown in the speed and mm. um whoops uh and matt unfortunately gusto doesn't really speed up either and but no no i i have a decent amount to say about this like i remember uh with gusto when this came out man did people hate this record like, yeah i think did you hate it? I think you were upset. I when I first got it, like I mean, I, and I think fairly too. There's a lot of songs on here that are like, like, uh, you know, what, what even is this? Yeah, yeah. But I didn't hate it. I still think there's some like great tracks on here. Like scholarship and punk is. I don't care that it's poppy. It's one of my favorite guttermouth mm -hmm. songs. Um, uh, yeah. Pee in the shower. Contribution. I like Campfire girl. I yeah, don't, Campfire girl is good uh, too. Yeah. yeah. 
looking out for number one, like that kind of pirate feel song. I really like that <laughs> one too. Um, man, where to put? How about lemon water? I I don't like lemon. Lemon water was one of the ones that I was like, I don't really like it. Same That's thing. Up my with, alley. <laughs> same thing with twins. I don't really care mm. for. Eh. My girlfriend, yeah, like the bat, like 12, 13, 14, I can, I can care less about, but yeah, man, I already used my mulligan. <laughs> you did. So, I mean, you know what? I, I'll put it in a, I'm okay with it. This one in a? I, I think there's enough really good songs on here to counter the bad songs. Like this is like their most accessible album, I think. And man, based on the hate it got, whatever, I'll put it in A. I have kind of like a thing going where I kind of back the band's least popular album. So let's keep it going. Gusto, okay. Gusto in the A tier. What about you, Matt? So just because we're in the spirit of the game, I'm going to have to put this one in C because I have another one that will go into A. So I'm putting this one in C. Um, this was another one I, I saw myself skipping around a lot too. Um, I would only play the songs I liked. I like the other ones where I can listen to it all the way through. You know, so that's why I'm putting this one in C. Uh, it just really didn't do it for me. I wasn't a big fan of this one. I'm I'm curious now what your A is gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this one, but I, I you know, what it was whatever. So if we're on it right now, uh, what's the next one up? Eat your face. That's my A. Yikes, mm -hmm. man. Oh. I thought this one was better than Gusto. I thought this kind of brought back gutter mouth to that faster pace, more of that kind of traditional gutter mouth. They were trying to go on this one, maybe. That's how I felt. Um, so, you know, that's why I'm putting this one in A. I know a lot of people hated this one, but like Party of Two is a good one. Surf's up, asshole. Um, you, know, you know, hot dog to the head. A hot dog is a food, not a penis, so get it right or pay the price. I mean, it's such a good song. You, you know, one of the longest names for a song, too, I feel like. <laughs> So I'm putting this one in A. How about you, John? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> I remember I remember getting this album with you. We went and got this one together, I think. I, I can't remember. I, I know I had it, and I still don't know what's going on in the album cover. I don't know if I want to know, but I mean, for me, like I know a lot of people consider like when they move to Epitaph to be like that first drop in quality, but for me, it's mm -hmm. it's this one. Like I feel like those first three songs are okay, but there are some like really bad songs on here. Like Guadalajara is terrible. My neighbor's baby. Like the whole back half is pretty bad, Matt. Like I I I can't get behind you putting this in the A tier at all. Well, and then we I'm, have I'm, our take, <laughs> I'm taking over your spot of you know putting the least favorite albums up there pretty high. I'm curious what people are going to hate more, Gusto in A or Eat Your Face in A. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That'll be the question. Well, I'll put it down there. But, man, yeah. second straight album with a hot dog as a metaphor for a penis, too, so you could add or subtract points based on that uh, <laughs> right there. But I am putting this in D tier. This is, this is, this is probably my least favorite Guttermouth album. I, I just thought... Really? I'm not into this one at all. It's well, yeah. So I guess <laughs> we're on to the next one, which is going to be D for me. I only have D's left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, yeah. Shave the planet. That's going into D for me. Uh, I couldn't get behind this one. I, I'll be honest with you, John. I probably listened to this one twice, and I just didn't listen to it again mm -hmm. within those two weeks or so. I couldn't get into it. Uh, I wasn't feeling it. Um, and I think mostly all the members were gone in this one, but Mark, right? Probably, or, yeah. I think I think they're yeah. The whole enchiladas. I know that one's only Mark, and it has all new members. I know a lot of people left, um, but I, I just really couldn't get into this one. So I I listened to it twice, and I it was like, no, this is going into D for me. I I can't feel it. That's weird, man. Because I think this sounds a whole lot like Eat Your Face, um, but I do think it's slightly better then eat your face like it's the same as the last one like it starts off with like two or three good songs and then it just like falls completely on mm. its face but like yeah. i think save the planet it, the title track is a good song 
-hmm. Capitalizing from plump mistakes is good. Um, God, Steve McQueen is okay. Primate yeah. Camp is is kind of fun. Maybe not so much anymore. I used to like it when I was younger. Uh, yeah, I'm with you, man. I'm I'm putting this in D also, but I think it's better than Eat Your Face. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah. I don't, I just felt like Eat Your Face was like a good kind of comeback album. I felt um, like I felt like it tried to sound like it was, but yeah, it. I don't know, man. It. I feel like those first two songs, they almost have like very similar riff and everything, and that's really it. Like the rest of the album is kind of boring. It just it just sounds like they recycled it and they couldn't even muster up enough energy to recycle their own songs. Like it just Yeah, you know, I'm second guessing myself now, but I ready to use my mulligan, so I'm gonna live with it. A A, <laughs> A man is is high yeah. above gorgeous and yeah, if Wait. I could do it, if I could do another mulligan, it would be eat your face, be gorgeous. A now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm Adam Mulligans. Mm. I'm going to stick to the rules, and uh, we're on to the next one, the whole enchilada. Um, so this one to me is going into D because that's all I have left. Um, again, this this one has no original members, only marks in it. Um, so I don't know what he's doing over there. People are quitting or leaving, but uh. And this is another one I couldn't really get behind. I loved the the live album was good on this part, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know, side one, but then side two, I couldn't get into, you know, I feel like this is uh, just another D for me. I really couldn't get into this one. See when I wasn't sure if we were going to include the live album or not. So I was prepared to possibly put this as high as B Matt. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what made me switch friendly people at the last minute. But I I think this is way better than Eat Your Face. I think it's way better than Shade of the Planet, the the original songs on here. Like I think New Car Smell is pretty good. I think I've Got It Made is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, all all these songs are not bad. This kind of feels like it would have come out like between Gorgeous and Covered with Ants. That's the vibe I get yeah. from it. But I only have a spot left in C. But this would be this is a C plus B minus record for me. I I think it was a nice comeback. I think we were supposed to get another Guttermouth record at some point, but I seriously doubt mm. that's gonna happen at this point. But I, I hope it does. I mean, I don't know. I I feel like the nail is in the coffin for Guttermouth, Matt. Based on <laughs> the last few, like it I it might be yeah. it might be over for them. Let's be honest. Yeah. Uh... I wish it wasn't. They were a great band. And, you know, this band was the reason of our Warp Tour that year, John. It was it 03 or 04 where I, I protested the Warp Tour? I think it was 04, wasn't it? Um, It definitely wasn't 02 because we got the... I still have my Gusto poster signed from 02. Yeah. So oh, it, it was 04. 03 was the, the year you saved my life in the Rancid, rancid pit. Yes. That story yeah, we so never told. Uh, for another yep. episode. Another episode. So this must be that must be oh four. Yeah. So oh four was a year where I was all excited. I've never seen Guttermouth to this day live. And I'm really upset about that. I hate that. And in oh four they were on the warp tour and we were going down to New Jersey. I think we we're going to um English Town uh, Raceway. I think, was it English Town or Ashbury? Uh I don't know now. <laughs> They're all it was probably English it was probably English Town. I think it was English Town. Um so we get there, we get there early, like none of the bands have played yet. I'm all pumped. We're going up to the lineup board. Have you ever been to the Warped Tour? You know, they have that like big blow up kind of lineup board and it has all the bands on there. And we're looking at like, oh, what stage is Guttermouth going to be on? What time are they playing? And there is a friggin' line through Guttermouth saying they are not playing. So word starts going around. All the other punks are talking and word starts spreading that Guttermouth got kicked off because they were being um, rude or they were teasing other bands. And one of the bands supposedly they were teasing was Yellow Card. So this is this is all going through the Warped Tour that Yellow Card got uh, Guttermouth kicked off because of what they were doing. So I decided this year to protest this Warped Tour. And the way I protested this Warped Tour is I was throwing water bottles at all the bands that were playing. So I mean, throwing, I was launching water bottles. 
Uh, people were calling me NFL because I was hitting the stage, going over the stage. This is the same warp tour where I got into a, an altercation that almost turned physical with the transplants crew. Uh, this is the one where I was throwing water bottles at Annie Flag because I was just pissed. I wanted my gutter mouth and I wanted it now and I couldn't see them. So yellow cards playing and I just start like unleashing the hail of water bottles at them, throwing it at them, almost hitting them. Um, I think they were playing Ocean Avenue and I kept on throwing it during Ocean Avenue and they stopped the song. So I, I got yellow card to stop playing Ocean Avenue and um, they said, uh, excuse me, uh, can you please all stop throwing water bottles? This is not safe. And it was quiet. And then all of a sudden you hear me say, fuck you and just kept on throwing and other people kept on throwing. And that was my year of the protest at the Warped Tour was throwing water bottles at the band because they kicked gutter mouth off. But in other interviews that came out, it seemed that Mark left the Warped Tour uh, that year because he was tired. He said of bands being political that didn't know anything about politics and were just trying to, you know, ride on fat mics, you know, you know what, you know, kiss up to fat Mike and stuff. So, but that was my little uh, warp tour protest story, all because of gutter mouth. <laughs> so, was your whole reason for protesting and throwing water bottles? It was all for nothing. It turned out eventually that wasn't even true. Yeah, but at that time, no one knew. Everyone said it was yellow card. Yeah. So I was just mad at all the bands. But I wanted to see gutter mouth. I was upset, and you know, the rumor at that warp tour at that time was they got kicked off because of yellow card and other bands that they were teasing. So. Um, I still enjoyed the Warped Tour, though. You know, I, I, I met the Transplants crew up close and personal. Um, so that was always good. And that was the same year I think we met Fat Mike or kind of met Fat Mike. And I was calling Randall uh, Roger or Roger Randall. <laughs> I, I, wow. Matt, I am pretty sure you were with us at the punk tour in 2002 with Guttermouth. Guttermouth, Gob, uh, no. 1208. No. I think I, I didn't go to that. I went to surf and skate in 2002. I don't think I was at the Punkorama tour, though. It was at this place called The World in New York City. In no, it I was didn't, like right outside Times Square. You weren't. I could have sworn. No, that was that was Lewis. That was Lewis or that was or that was the um, Ray D maybe. But it wasn't me. Bummer. All right. Well, anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, my picks are on stage left left i'm not sure this one here matt's are here matt has admitted now to throwing water bottles at bands in this video and also he has admitted to telling painted black to play Freebird oh. during their concert so you cannot vote for him he's a terrible human being he's admitted it okay on let's just say the painted black one there was a good amount of alcohol consumption that took place that night all right and I got a little annoyed because they just kept on talking. And I was like, come on, let's play a little music, guys. And then I said, like, yeah, I'll play Freebird. Free Bird. But he didn't play it because he doesn't know how to play it, I feel like. He couldn't play it. Could be. But anyway, you cannot vote for somebody who has done these terrible things. So mine is over here. It is a better list. He has Eat Your Face in no, the no, 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 tier. No. It is unforgivable. That album is not good at all. Hold on. Hold on. Can I just say one more thing before we end it? Of course. I think you should vote for me because I feel like that's true punk rock what i did you know gutter mouth says punk rock is a loud fast and deliberately offensive style of rock music and i was being offensive in the spirit of gutter mouth i, I can't argue that point so if you like matt's list better he is on the right he's the one with eat your face in the a tier if you like mine better it is on the left with musical monkey and gorgeous one two just let us know in the comments below this was a little bit of a faster video we did it Without any preparation, if you guys like this format better, let us know. And next week we have Pennywise. I, Matt, is next week Pennywise or are we doing Epitaph Bands? I think Epitaph Bands kind of floated off somewhere. Yeah, I mean, we have to figure out what are we going to do with Epitaph because there's a lot of bands. Yeah, maybe I'll put up a poll on Instagram and see which bands they want us to but Matt, you have to, before we forget, you have to announce the winners of season five of uh, episode five, six, seven, and eight. I'm getting a lot of DMs. That Wait, five, six, seven, and eight? Of blind Wait. band reviews. You have to announce it. People are waiting. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> episode five. Episode five was a close one. Very close. 
but it came down to pure intentions. One episode five, John. So we're going on to episode six right now. <laughs> episode six. If you're in this one, I do apologize because this was a blowout. This was lame ass dads by a landslide. Congratulations to lame ass dads. You're moving on. And All they right. said they did send us some pretty cool shirts, Matt. I still have to get you yours, but <laughs> awesome. there it is. Episode seven, John. Mm -hmm. Episode seven was another close one, but this is going to mental state. Mental state. All right. Mm -hmm. And then episode eight. Is that the last one? That's the last one we are revealing now. Yes. Yeah. Episode eight was close. The, it was very close. This one. Um, the winner of this one is another year unknown. So there we go. We have just to sum it up, pure intentions, lame ass dads, mental state, and mm -hmm. another year unknown. Is yeah. is number nine still going? Um, let me check that out. Number nine. No, number nine ended on the eleventh. All right. Well, you guys are gonna have to wait until we have nine, ten, eleven, twelve ready. So there you go. There is your winners to five, six, mm -hmm. seven, and eight. Matt, anything else before we wrap this up? No, just go out and vote. Um, and again, uh, the winner's getting some nice uh, cassette tapes made for them by Blue Light Tapes. Yes, guys. So go check out at Blue Light Tapes on Instagram. Go vote in our blind band review videos. And we'll see you next week when we rank Pennywise records. I am super excited for that one. Everybody yeah. stay safe and have a great night.